Se está muerto. Vamos en camino. And anyone who likes that fucking mission, like that end of the mission, is a fucking sadist. And that's coming from someone that loves playing games on the hardest difficulty, because of the challenge. You knew that was a third missile. Oh, I didn't count them. I have people for that. She's lying. Where's the son? Where's the other missile? Chicago. What the fuck's going on? I said I'd tell you where he was. I didn't say I would stop him. Escorpion de la verga. I warned you she would do this, eh? I run a business, senores. We grow or we die. It's the way of the world. You put a target on your back. No. I put a target in Chicago. Now fucking leave Las Almas and go find the pendejos pa' fuera. For now, she's yours. But we'll be back. I look forward to it. Let's go. A la chingada. So, proper transport, get last well. The sound of the missile are in Chicago. Esta noche las almas descansan. I'll be free in 24 hours. Can't say the same about you, vaqueros. You're going down for what you did. It doesn't matter what I did. It matters what you can prove. Bo, you have work to do. Keep fighting the good fight, hermano. To the better end, my brother. Good luck, amigos. Dos! No te pierdas, carnal! No we're about! Nelson Nombre told us the third missile was smuggled into the United States through the port of Chicago. Hassan and his EQ soldiers are with it. We don't know exactly where the missile is or where it's headed. But we do know that Hassan was taken to a building in downtown Chicago owned by a shell company at the Las Almas Cartel. Police are on the ground cordoning off streets around the building. They're on the lookout for a stolen container full of weapons. They do not know we're dealing with a missile. We believe Hassan is holed up in a fortified server room on the 54th floor of this building. I will be on the ground working to locate the missile. I'll infill with the Marines on the Chicago River and move in on the ground level. I'll heli up to an OP across from the objective for armed overwatch. We'll touch two helos down on the roof of the target building. One with a troop of Marines, the other with me and Soap. While Gaz and the Marines push up the building, Price and Soap will work their way down, with Soap propelling to the server floor, pinching us on in the middle. Our primary mission is to locate and stop the missile. But you have execute authority to kill Hassan. Watch you under Bravo 6 actual. Perimeter is secure. We have a possible hit on the missile container when we move them out. Solid copy. All Bravo move set. We're on. You're by copy door. Bravo 6 to 20 seconds from the time. The total is probably a good side. Ghost, get your other one. Wall 56 is our primary objective. She's got four to five with limited access. Sun may be hold up there. Got it. Let's nail this bastard once and for all, son. Those two missions. Those two missions just leave sour tastes in your mouth. You have this one. Or the one that we just finished. Leave a fucking sour taste in your mouth. Bye, prize! <laughs> Have fun deal with it yourself. Leave me to deal with the time. How far out do you actually go, or do you just end up in the kill zone? Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Whoa! The world's a lie. Chicago's a lie. Okay. Oh no, we our last track. Actual perimeter is secure. We have a possible hit on the missile container. Let's just skip this. I don't need to watch it again. Oh, All right. 
like that last mission, and then the mission with the shit ton of um, armored people, they just aren't fun. It's uh, recon by fire. They both, like, don't get me wrong, both of those missions start off well, and I enjoy them. But they end on such a sour note that it just, it just ruins the experience of that mission. Like, I love Recon by Fire, all the way up till you, the last infiltration point, because of the armor. Because you're now having to deal with these bullshit armored enemies that just, that just sit there and melt you in a close quartered situation, with the only weapon possible of one-shotting them in the face, being a fucking sniper rifle with an increased zoom. It's not fun. It isn't fun. No one wants to do that. No one wants to sit there and have to deal with fucking bullshit like that. And that's... See, it's a change. So, that dude isn't even looking at me, and he says to his man to shoot me first. Clear. Bravo 3, 5 5 secure. 4 X rays ahead. 3 in the room, 1 in the hallway. We're clear. So, zero. What floor to go? Copy. 5 X rays on the next target floor. Tech. 3 move in, 2 stationary. Get a visual before you engage. One, two, three. I don't know where the fourth one is. There's five of them. I had to reload. How many rounds does that weapon have? We're clear. How many rounds does this weapon have? Ten. Why is it fucking... That's an M4, is it not? It's F type. But a hostage die. You're alive, you're alive, you're alive. One, two. I think there should be three bodies. Is there four over there? I don't know. We're pushing into the target area now. Now, we need those controls. You all wait. You can take someone down from a corner. Is that what I just saw there? Waste of sound using the server room. Move up. Don't know how he survived the first rally. I'm sorry. The reflex on that dude was instinct. That wasn't... That wasn't anticipated.
Ah, oh, no, I just actually done the fucking G. Let's just get a flashbang in there. Of course, he is around the corner. Oh, I was an armored dude as well, of course. It has to be an extra fuck you. No, Hassan. All stations. Negative on target. Move to control room now. I should have been pre aiming. Why do, why do you hate the armor damage? That's why. It's a shotgun. It is a shotgun. I'm not going to deny that. It was a shotgun he hit me with. Of course he's not here this time. Price. The fuck you doing? Bro was about to take the price down. Of course. I'm sorry, but why is two of you guys pushing down that one hallway? Flashbang him out. There has to be a way to get on top of the surface. Marty down, bitch. I did die, but... Peek. Three, two, one. Now! Now he left. Smell you. I got mildly distracted because I started smelling smoke and I was like, I'm the only one in the house, where the fuck is that coming from? Fuck sick. It's outside. It's just I have my window open, so that's why I can smell it. Hi Price, how are you doing? Just gonna go this way and throw a grenade down there. I'm sorry, but you literally took a final stand round to the chest. You are not turning around and saying you survived a shot to the face, or to the chest, and how do you use the face? 
Bro, where the fuck did you get the sledgehammer? Fucking hell. What? He's gone. Vision on the control room. All stations negative yep, on that's Hassan. Something. Control room is a dry hole. Ghost, you got anything? Affirm. Possible visual 46. So almost in the naughty Go. corner. We're moving. Back up, Sergeant. Oh look, it must have been Activision for making a fucking shit campaign that crashed. Oh shit. Well, I don't even know if it was crashing or if it was just taking forever to fucking load then. Even then, it's still fucking piss take. I'm just trying to get in the cover. Move along. Yeet. Yep, I uh, knew there was a third one. I thought I heard footsteps. I didn't think I heard three. But it was like Saul's Law. It's like Saul's Law, of course, I'd hear three. people third come on oh. fucking ass of course then the third comes up with like oh. of course price can't fucking handle them I'm sorry you're telling me he just took a headshot like a mother There's a grenade. Did <sighs> 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 you just punch his price and it's like going for my body to finish me off? I'm already fucking dead. Come on, push. Asshole. I heard the grenade last second. If the enemy is in range of you, you're in range of the enemy. I, I don't... This is what I mean. Like, this is only difficult because you've added armor enemies that can't fucking flinch. And then bullshit like that fucking hits his, uh, his fucking... Like, I can't do- I can't do shit against that, like, why- I 
just don't like that fucking artificial bullshit. Three, two, one. Literally, all I can see is his fucking head. And I can't throw that back. And I'm dead. Why don't you like the, uh, the armored enemies? They're bullshit. They are straight up bullshit. You can only take them out with certain weapons. I deserve to buy a grenade. Okay, no, I don't deserve to die by that bullshit. <laughs> there is a reason I hate the armored enemies. Three, two, one. I need three grenades this time. Shotgun, fine, fair enough. Regardless if I was if it was an armored enemy or not, the shotgun was gonna kill me, but I still don't like the armored enemies. Okay. One, two, missed. Three was on point. Three was on point. Num bullet number three was on point. I don't like that. I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy the fact that my fucking bullets are sitting there being like, Hey, you ticked him. It doesn't matter. Oh, fuck it, I'm dealing with these guys. There's a fucking flashbang. Didn't know that was a voice line. Price, price, the door's locked. The door's locked. Price, the door's locked. The door's locked. Oh, you've got the key. It was super effective. Oh. Soap! No, 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 no! Soap! No! I was about to fucking cough you. Hey guys! Guess what time it is? Artificial difficulty leveling. All these guys are armored enemies. In which my EBR no longer does one shot to the face. Fun. Like this is this is what I'm on about. Like this isn't this isn't like a difficult last time. I would have rather preferred an enemy being on a fucking mini gun or a turret and having to work that way. Oh, 
There's one more. Nope. Okay, sure. Hit you, hit you, hit you. I'll stick a camera in there. Hit you. Get positive ID on the sun. Fine, let's get positive ID. I'll get them. Alright, that happens. I forgot. Oh shit. Come on, get the price. <coughs> Fucking generic marine number two gets shot. Okay. I don't know why why are we helping? Bro, you got this. We're so we're British. Watcher. Hassan has the missile controls, we're going after him. Copy. Like fuck Copy. that shit. I wouldn't bother. Oh. Alright, fair enough. RPG up the fucking Shaft. Oh, here's what I find funny. My gun fell down here. Uh. Fucking close the door. Control secured. So the missile was launched, so you'll have to remote detonate it. That I haven't done. I will guide you, but it will take time. Open the controls when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Shine. The target is DC. I'm in. Next is the override. You should see four columns of data. I need to know what's in row two, column three. Row two, column three. Percent sign. Echo. Ah, uh, no. Papa. It's ESP. It's not working. Soap, what's in the third column, second row? Soldier, it's my Percent to sign. To your Echo. Action. Sierra. Papa. That did it. Now hit left and clear to initiate override. Override on. Copy. Get safe. This next part will make some noise. It's detonated. Copy America that. Air Force will confirm. Thank you, Sergeant. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you, as well. Where's the sun? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking deer in headlights. Copy. Get safe. This next part will make some noise. It's detonated. Copy that. Air Force will confirm. Okay, you know what, let me just close this. I'm gonna make some... Right, I have to find a fucking blade. I forgot it was that bullshit. <sighs> right on. Copy, get safe. This next part will make some noise. Sheet. It's detonated. Copy that. Air Force will confirm. Thank you, Sergeant. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with fucking you. Fucking go in the room, you little shit. Not alone. He's got EQ guards with him. He's fucked off. I'm gonna kill every one of them. And then I'm going for him. Out here. Steaming blood. Fucking Jesus. Nicely done, Johnny. Now for the hard part. That was the fucking hard part, LT. Let's find out. You need to stay Fuck alive. Her. Take out the guards and kill her son. I told you your nation was I just need a weapon. Make one. Aye. Like old times, huh, LT? Seems like yesterday. It was yesterday. Found some scrap metal. Can make a pry tool now.
Fuck off. Putting the most trap. I can make a gas trap. Stunning one. Before you can attack, you'll need a weapon, Sergeant. Found some glass. Find some tape, you got shit. They will compromise you. We have resisted your forces. Like, why can't I... This is a full-on building, and I can't find a single... another piece of glass. Oh. Fucking glass. Found some glass. Find some tape, you got a shiv. You can break glass for more, but it will compromise you. Trapped at a glass shiv. That's the way, Johnny. Stand one and stab him. <laughs> Found a mouse trap. I can make a gas trap. Lobby where you like and lure him to it. Come on, move on. Of course you fucking be the weird one. I'm sorry, the fuck's happening with the gas trap? <laughs> He's, just gonna... He's just gonna keep throwing Molotov. Chemicals. Could be used for a trap. Rub some metal. I'm gonna be fucking caught taping this, aren't I? The stun one. Before you can attack, you'll need a weapon, Sergeant. Damn glass. Shard of glass here. Get some tape, and it's a ship. If you need more, breaks up. Just watch for her I need bindings. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking jump over already. I'm right here. Fine. Here, you know what? Here. Asshole. Don't need to burn people. There you go, time to get you on the back. I'm gonna enjoy putting a bullet through your head. Watch the window. We're not attacking. We are invading. Well, you're currently invading my personal fucking space. Perfect show, LT. You called it, Sergeant. All stations. Assange down. Enemy KIA. Officials are saying a power surge is to blame for an explosion over downtown Chicago last night. Due to severe winds leaving thousands of residents in the dark, electricity is expected to be restored by this evening. In other news, CIA shit. 
creative writing. I'll never tell. Thank you. Iran. Cartels. Russians. Shepard. Shadow. They got past us. And we'll have a head start. It's cutting the heads off snakes. Any son of Shepard? Totally off the grid. No, we'll find him. Now we've got bigger fish. I've done some digging on the Russians. Well, that's a dirty job. Ultra nationalists ambushed that convoy, John. Okay, this is over. No, it's not. They're working with someone new. Really? We don't know his name. He's not known. This dude isn't new and somehow the Americans don't fucking know about him. Who is he? Makarov. Oh my god! They said Makarov! Uh, I'm fucking around with my mic, sorry if you hear that. They could have been a bit better than this, oh well. Um, so yeah, that's Modern Warfare 2022. I'm going to stick by what I sat there and said. The game is an 8 out of 10. I don't know why it was having so much um, hardware difficulty this time around for me, but originally, it didn't. I had zero hardware issue, I had zero gameplay issue, I had zero... Um, technical issues playing this game. It ran smooth. The only problems I had was when I relaunched the game at new sessions, I had to redo my quality settings. I had to put them back from 30 to 100. I, had to, I basically had to do that every time I launched a campaign. Fine, fair enough, whatever. So, in regards to certain gripes and the reason I gave it an 8 out of 10, one of them being the armored enemies. Don't get me wrong, I like the fact that they've tried to add another enemy type to make combat more difficult, but make it realistic. I'm not sitting there asking, oh, make it easier to sit there and break, um, break armor or break um, helmets and all. But you can at least either, literally, there's two ways they could have balanced it, and they fucking done it on the second to last mission, which is why it pisses me off more when you have these enemies. Wanna go quiet because if I recall there's a yep, there we go. Beef, chicken or fish, gentlemen? Salads, please. So, two things to take away from that cutscene very quickly. One, the cutscene we are experiencing is what I'm assuming is the Mile High mission from the classic Modern Warfare um, 4. And the person we're actually talking to is Makarov. So, what I'm sitting there thinking is the Mile High mission and Makarov storming the airport are actually meant to be done in unison. 
So those two are happening at the same time, which is why we stopped the plane hijack, but we failed to stop the airport massacre. Anyway, in regards to the game's my rating of 8 out of 10, the armor damage could be done better. And the reason I got annoyed at it later on, and the reason I got annoyed so much annoyed at the armored enemies is in the end, you have on the second to last mission, you can go into that area with armored plates. And the armored plates make it a whole lot more manageable going against those enemies because you can take a couple extra shots while you're trying to stagger them. If that was through if that was available throughout the campaign on those specific missions that had high armored enemy counts, I wouldn't have as much of an issue. Because if I died to them, I'd be fucking going, fuck's sake, I should have put the arm my armor pips on. Fair enough. The other issue, if they didn't want to have armor pips and you're just going in bare, um, like we technically did, make the armored enemies staggerable. I know they stagger when you break their ar their chest armor and their head armor. But, come on. Make them stagger or like heavily reduce accuracy if you're firing shots into their head or chest. Because one of the biggest issues, and it's why I hated the armored enemy so much, is you can be holding an M4. It's a 5.56 if I recall correctly. And you could be, you could empty 20 rounds of your 30 round clip into that enemy. And they would be able to shoot back at you without reduced accuracy and without problems to hitting you or staggering. If they had it, that you could sit there and stagger and like if I fire 10 rounds into an armored enemy's chest, have it they 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 hunch over and have a short animation where they're trying to catch catch jam um, their breath because come on i'm telling you right now we sat there and saw soap take rounds to the back in the armor that's why he was and um, that's why hassan was able to grab him and pull him up soap was fucking winded from three rounds to the back on his armor plate that's why he's alive he got hit in the armor but you're telling me I can't fire 20 rounds at a fucking um, armored enemy and make him fucking winded? Nah. I can't fire three rounds at the dude's helmet before breaking and then make him fucking stagger? Nah. They're going to be able to go and shoot you while, they're, while their head is basically looking like a, a bloody a bobble head on a fucking trucker's um, dash going from all the bullets hitting them. Like, come on. Come on. You shouldn't be able to make the dude's head go like that and not be able to stagger him and him being able to go and fucking beam you. And that has messed up my hair. Yay. Um, that shouldn't be viable. And it then comes down to certain missions. I enjoyed all the missions. Don't get me wrong. All the missions were fun. I enjoyed every single one of them. But my complaint with two missions in specific. The recon by fire. Fine. We find out that the um, AQ soldiers are um, in the area at the lighthouse. That's fine. But to have so many heavily armored guys in a close quarter vicinity with the only weapon that's applicable to one shot kill them to the face or cause them to keel over when shot in the chest is your sniper rifle. Your M4, nah, you still need to put 10, 20 rounds into the head, into the head, let alone, to get them to break the helmet and then stagger. Because the whole stagger mechanic for the enemies is you have to hit them till either their helmet or armor break. It's not you have to hit them a bunch to make them stagger. It's you have to break those to cause them to stagger. To get the easy headshot or to get the easy um, bullet sponge into the chest after. It's not fun like that because you can't... 
It's not even as if I could have sat there and went in, opened the door, creaked, flashbang, move in and fucking take down. Probably I could have, I don't know. But there's no point in me doing that when I'm trying to play passive aggressive and not get my fucking ass riddled because the high chance of me being able to flash him, run up to him and do a takedown is high. I can do that. But there's enemies around. You're telling me why I'm sitting there going boom, boom, boom. This dude behind him isn't sitting there just lining up a deagle waiting for me to drop his body to kill him to, or to kill me. Like that's, that's why a lot of the assassinations or the um, takedowns just aren't applicable half the time because there's bound to be an enemy that is ready to kill you and then that brings me on to the mission the second last mission when you're storming graves one taking down an enemy that physically doesn't know you're there shouldn't alert everyone else and anyone who sits there and says oh but you didn't look behind you fuck off literally i sat there looked that way looked that way didn't see anyone which is why i started pushing down that street and decided to execute him that shouldn't lead to me being alerted because i've taken out one guy you're telling me there's a shit ton of stuff happening and they're able to hear one guy dying over the radio and be like yep they're here they're over here i not think it's where the um the helicopter and all is in there um launching into why and then the tank mission. The tank mission, honestly, wouldn't have been as bad if you had it that the tank had, um, if you had it that you didn't have enemies shooting you. Or, well, the um, armored enemies. And the tank didn't have a fucking turret on top. The two of those just made it really bad. I think there's a parcel about to be delivered, so I have to quick go and grab that. Hold up. Thank you for that. Anyway, so the fact that you have a tank, you have a tank with a turret on top or close quarter um, defense, and then you have enemies storming the area along with armored enemies. We thankfully didn't see the armored enemies through that because I just wanted to rush melt the tank. That's all I wanted to do. And when a game puts you in a situation where you don't want to be there they've done something wrong there's a difference between being like oh shit i don't want to be here i need to move and i don't want to be here and that mission is purely i don't want to be here i don't want to deal with this shit i don't want to deal with you fuck off it is agitating there is nothing rewarding when you finally kill that tank because they could have made it so much more re rewarding at the end if you destroyed the tank but it didn't go up in that um, huge explosion you destroyed the tank causing it to be inoperable turret can't move um, barrel can't move tracks are fucked everything's fucked you see soap you see um Rodriguez, or well, sorry, Gaz and Rodriguez, move in on the tank. Grave opens the hatch, goes to sit there and draw his weapon and gets his kicked out of his hand or shot out of his hand. And then it's like, and then it's like, you sit there and have this witty remark or comment for taking back the base when he done all his whole shit. Um, literally, best line would have been um would have been because soap literally turned around turned to him and said you're gonna regret doing this when they betrayed him gets to that point pistol gets shot out of his hand soap steps on his hand aims a barrel down at it and just responds with one line he doesn't get to say anything it's not a promise it's a guarantee literally throw his own shit back at him because he turns around and says i don't make promises i make guarantees soap could have sat there and threw that right back at his face because of what happened when they when they tried to burn them 
literally would have been the most refreshing and satisfactory ending to that. Because you're like, this dude just got his own shit thrown back in his face. You get to see the person that's fucking pissed you off while doing that tank fight die. You get to see the conclusion to your suffering. Seeing the tank go up in explosion, no conclusions are, you just know the tank's fucked. For all we know, he somehow survives. He's gonna be a burned fucking mess in the next game. I don't know. But that's not satisfaction. That is frustration because you're just like, thank fuck it's over. Let's move on. And I voiced that when playing the game. You heard me voice it when playing the game. I didn't enjoy the tank fight. I didn't enjoy the boss mechanics of it. And it was just not fun. I wanted it to be done. And that shouldn't be how it is. You should be satisfied when you defeat a tough enemy. You should be satisfied when you overcome some shit that has been literally fucking throwing your head against a concrete wall for the past 30 minutes or an hour, depending on how long you take. You should feel you've achieved something when you finish that fight. You've achieved a victory, you've achieved a blow to them, you've achieved um, overcoming this bullshit. Any of those would have been fine. What was my reaction to it? Fuck this fucking tank, I'm done with it. No satisfaction, pure frustration, pure rage. It was genuinely just agitation. And that's not a good thing to have. There are certain games that use that, but you use it in a way to then achieve satisfaction or achieve relief after. That mission didn't do it. That mission straight up didn't do it. <sighs> and that's just, that's just kind of, that's my gripe. That's my gripe. That's why it got an 8 out of 10. It got a point taken away due to the armored enemies being poorly implemented. It got a point taken away due to the tank mission and technically the um, detection system. Because the detection system is shit. You have the stealth mission where your whole um, point is to go through it covertly and quietly. I am happy to agree that um, if you shoot someone and someone sees it, that they know that someone's here. Obviously, we didn't see it in this playthrough, but when I first done it, I was, that's why I was at the left side of the map then that whole time before going into the flooded damn tunnel. Because the last time I went on the right side, I went to deal with the group of three, popped one, popped two, other dude completely oblivious, turns around, sees two friends like, someone's here, and starts shooting me. Not knowing where these rounds came from and only knowing that someone's here, when he looks around he's like, Fred? Bobby? The fuck you doing play- Oh shit, you dead. That is the only reason he knows I'm there, and yet he's able to go, Hmm. Holmes. It would appear that Fred and Bobby has taken a single round to the head. Judging by the way they have fallen over, they have been shot from the right hand side of the skull. Judging by how they have fallen over, it has been from a lowered angle, meaning the person must be crouched. The conclusion being that they must be over there behind that trash can using it as a leaning tool. I will now fire at him. Fuck off! You're a soldier, not fucking Sherlock Holmes! The fuck do you mean you know exactly where I shot from? It's different if they sat there and went on a patrol direction. If it was like, huh. Someone's here and started patrolling towards the direction of the possible shooting. Fair enough. But the fact that he can go, dead, dead, you'll be dead next. Not knowing where the fuck the shots came from originally is bullshit. So yeah, that is why I give it an 8 out of 10. I would give it a 9 out of 10 if the implementation of the armored people were more susceptible. Literally. Two different things could have been done. Either have them easier to stagger, depending on the caliber weapon, so that doesn't mean every weapon can stagger them. If you're using a fucking pistol, yeah, no. Those things are just gonna fucking ricochet off. There's no point having 
that be able to stagger someone. You can get punished for trying to use a pistol, fair enough. And I'm talking about the 9mm, I'm not talking about you're turning around and using a fucking Desert Eagle or the ba um, Ballisk uh, and gun. If you're using a pistol 9mm, it shouldn't be able to stagger. SMG 9mm, yes, because of how fast it's fucking firing. That should have some type of staggering. M4s, sort of like anything with 5.56, five, um, five, five, 5 rounds to the chest, 2 rounds to the face. Because what I noticed is it took 5 to 8 rounds to the face to break then kill. So have 3 rounds to the face or 2 rounds to the face, stagger the dude. So if you are on point, like I mean you are on point, those 3 rounds hit him before he can turn around and raise his weapon, you should be rewarded with getting the easy kill. It shouldn't be, oh, you're shooting his head? Oh, no, his armor hasn't broke. Okay, he can still fucking pull up and fire. I'm not saying they shouldn't be able to fire. I'm just in there saying that if you stagger someone, either have them fucking fire aimlessly. So if you're trying to engage someone that while you're critical health and you get shot by a stray bullet because the dude's staggered and has just fired his gun around, Fine. That's your fault. That shit I wouldn't mind. It's the fact that you have no stagger other than shooting them and breaking their armor. And that just isn't fun because the amount of time it takes to break an armor when you have a low carable weapon is too long for the for it for the likes of it being on a higher difficulty. And just to wrap it up. Before people mention it's like, oh, well, you're playing it on veteran. I had a friend play it on the on regular. So he did. He played it on regular. He didn't play it on hardened. He didn't play it on realist um, on veteran. He didn't play it on realistic or realism like I just did now. He played it on regular, and he had the exact same complaints to do with the armored enemies and the tank boss fight. If someone who is playing at regular difficulty, which is not the recommended difficulty for these games, because Call of Duty came out and said, for the best experience, play on Hardened. Halo has came out and said, for the best experience, play on Hardened if you want a challenge but the best experience because you're dealing with a semi challenge while still enjoying the campaign real recruit is baby's first deck here if you're playing on recruit is because you don't want to die you just want to experience the story fine fair enough everyone can do that if you're playing on regular you want a little bit of a challenge but you're more interested in the story if you're playing on hardened you are interested in both an interesting game mechanic and the story without them being outweighed by each other. Veteran and realism is you want to sit there and prove that you can fucking take these people out while being on the hardest difficulty. And I'm glad I have now got every single mission completed on realism. I am glad, because to me, that is technically the campaign sorted for me, other than completionist. Shoot three enemies while in water. All these can sit there and be done fairly, fairly easy. These are co-op, fine. These are all co-op, but campaigns like kill ghast or blinded enemies using a Maltos, Samtex, or Frag in the prison break. All right, all I need to do is sit them through a flashbang and then throw a molly after. Complete the CCTV sequence in under four minutes. Probably could have if it didn't fuck up. Um, reach the barge without being seen or without being seen. Oh, reach the barge without being seen in wet work. Oh, that one's an easy one as well. Um, shoot all the targets in the training area. That's the one worth the tank. That one is, people said it's annoying but easy on the lower one. 
Campion or co-op. Kill three enemies with the riot shield on the campion. I could have picked up the riot shield and just started running on people. Open three saves. Fair enough. Easy. I know where they are. Reach price using the first vehicle you hijacked. Fair enough. I could have done that. But veteran is hard to do it on. You saw it. I tried and then I was like, you know, okay, I'm going to have to swap. In dark water, advance 90 meters towards the front of the ship without touching the deck. I tried that. Just gapped up after way. Reach the penthouse and house number without killing or triggering the alarm. That is doable. There is a way to do it. Same with this one. Drive five vehicles in violence timing. Same with this one. Finish alone without firing a gun. Oh, it's without firing a gun? Oh, I could have done that. Rescue the hostage in countdown. Without enemies firing. That one's a little bit of pain in the ass. Shoot three enemies in the water. They are easy achievements. I can go back and get them at any time I want. And same with the co-op. 20 intel fragments. Without triggering an alarm. Earn three stars in the night area. They're, sim they're simple achievements. I can do them at, on my own pace. I don't need to do them on, on recording. And anyway, I've been the 157 gamer. This game has pissed me off for a second time. <sighs> And I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.